Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Ty Twin and I am a Dallas-based flight attendant. Y'all, today is the start of my days off. However, I did pick up a four-day trip. Today we have one leg to LAX. My report time is at 5.25. It is currently 4.59, so I have 25 minutes to walk upstairs and go check in. And guys, thank you for coming. Thanks for clicking my video. Comment what you like, what you don't like. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. And do I have anything else before we get into this? Nope. Nope. I don't think I have anything else. So let's so go. I made it to LA. Just got here literally not even five minutes. Been in here. I changed because I'm going to walk over to Ralph's with some of my crew they're gonna get groceries i'm just trying to walk around my outfit of the day for whatever i decide to do i have this sweatsuit with this sports bra and i'm gonna throw on some tennis shoes because it's actually a little bit breezy outside it's in the 60s and i packed this way because the last time if you look at i don't know what video i'll tag it up above but it was freezing in la which you know taught me la is not always warm pack for it so basically, our first leg was pretty chill. Um, I'm lead on this trip, had have, have a great crew. I'm finna unpack my food. I've made tacos, or I brought stuff to make tacos for this trip, as well as the rest of my Cajun pasta. I'm gonna finish that off. I never know what day of the week it is anyway currently just chilling watching the kardashian family reunion hey guys so it is day two very long day this is actually our longest day today we go from la to detroit that's like a four and a half hour flight and then from there we go to fort myers florida tonight we'll get there around five i'm kind of excited because the hotel we stay at in Fort Myers apparently offers us free meal and three free drinks. I think I heard. I'm not quite sure. It is currently 4.15. My van time is at 4.35. There's this movie on Shallow House with Gwyneth Paltrow and Jack Black. And I am like stuck on it. I'm really sleepy too, kind of, guys. I know once I get on the plane, I'm going to get even sleepier. So I gotta get some coffee in me. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my food and everything, make sure I did not forget it, or I do not forget anything, and I'm gonna head downstairs. Okay, here's the door, or whatever. Let's go to the restroom. The bathroom. Nothing really crazy. It's me. I need to check and see if there's any creeper stuff. How do you open this? Oh, that's cool. Then here is the room. The room is actually really nice. It's actually really oddly shaped, but big. It's long. It's long. <laughs> there's me again. I have a whole sitting area. My camera on my phone is so much better than the camera on my thing and that's saying a lot in the view this is actually my first time ever coming here before um and i only kept this trip because this hotel gives us a complimentary buffet dinner as well as three adult drinks as the van driver just told us that's why i kept it because you know i was trying to see what it's talking about i have to charge up my phone and i have to go potty i think i'm going to do all of that before i go down there so we had 
two flights one from LA to Detroit it was like how long three hours and 49 minutes I think we ended up leaving like sitting on the tarmac in the beginning for 15 minutes luckily nobody was getting up and running to the restroom we ended up getting there six minutes late so that turned out to be really well the flight itself was chill it was a lot of coffee I've never had to remake pots of coffee like I literally made two pots of coffee in the front and then we made they made two pots of coffee in the back that's how many people were drinking coffee and it was only because our flight left before anything opened at the airport too so that's why that was that active but people still went to sleep after they had their coffee so then after that or not after that but also to add on to that our captain's girlfriend right was traveling with him He's on the trip with him, which which we can do. We can bring along our spouses or whoever we want um, on trips with us. They just have to non-rev. So that's basically what she's doing, non-revving passenger. So on the first flight, she just hung out in the front to see if we can get her a seat closer to the front because she ended up being in the last row, around a 320. She ended up being in row 31. So then on the second flight, we were trying to board and we were going from Detroit to Fort Myers. We were trying to board and she was just in and out of the flight deck the whole time. And then someone who works for us had to go and I guess audit the captains, the pilots, I mean, or something. I don't know what she was doing, but she went in there, had a clipboard. So I was like, audit. But she had to go in there and chat with the pilots and the girlfriend came out and was just like chilling in the galley and it's like lady I understand this is your 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 husband your boyfriend whoever it is, but you are in the way I need you to go sit down But not like that. I was like ma'am. Can you go sit like it's getting really crowded. I need you to go sit down She just kind of looked at me and I'm like, yeah, can you yeah, can you go sit down? <laughs> it's like she just looked at me crazy and it's like lady you're in the way you're not even supposed to be up at this point and we have a job to do and you're kind of making it difficult because folks keep seeing you willy-nilly going in and out the fly deck what are they what do they they can think that they can do the same thing you know so yeah that was that on that other than that though the flight was really good me and the chaser are getting along famously okay <laughs> fabulously like she's really cool and i really appreciate the fact that she is my chaser um she's been telling me stories and i've been talking to her and she's been talking to me or whatever so and she's more senior than me so she's really been putting me on the things that i should know or consider being a part of the company or whatnot so yeah <laughs> Guys, we're supposed to go to New Orleans and tropical storm, or well, there's a cyclone that's supposed to hit it. Oh, <laughs> hurricane season, you know. Day three. Um, it is currently. Oh, watch, it's not on. I don't know what time it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know what time it is. So, but it's like ten minutes, I think. 15 minutes and so I have to be downstairs for van time. I have one leg today to Detroit so it'll probably be like a two and a half hour flight and that's it. I am extremely tired y'all. I'm so tired and then today we're also going to a new hotel for whatever reason we're not staying in the same hotel that we usually are in hold on because y'all hear Kevin Sanders in the background so it's not it's apparently an old hotel that they used to send our crews to, so yeah, I'm not excited about it because what I've heard, so we'll just see together. Um, I don't really have any plans today. One of the chaser that I've been flying with, she's based in Detroit and from there, so she was telling me about some stuff yesterday. Um, I don't know if I'm doing anything because I just spent some more money online for my favorite swimsuit website getting kind of crazy guys maybe i should do like a haul because as much money as i've been spending on stuff i should just at this point do a whole haul would y'all be interested in seeing a haul this is like summer clothing i know i don't give that type of content but you know we can get a little break from the formalities of my job but yeah 
one leg today. I will hit y'all up either when I get to Troy, when I get on the plane. I don't know. I'll hit y'all up though. All right, guys, I made it to the hotel. I even changed into comfy clothes. That way I can take a nap. All right, let me give you a tour. So here is the door. Um, here's a closet already checked. There are absolutely no creepers, but it's actually a pretty big closet. So then we're going to go this way. This is the restroom. They have an LED light right here. Here is the shower and yeah, that's it. Here is the a long mirror. And then here's the rest or the restroom, the bedroom, my luggage, um, coffee things, my donuts. <laughs> Refrigerator safe. I have two beds, which I'm happy about because I'm finna go to sleep on one of them. And then later when I wake up, I'm gonna work out, take a shower, and then I'm gonna go to sleep in the other one. <laughs> um, here is a huge TV. This TV is ginormous. A desk, and here is a balcony it, it and it just goes into the inside i don't know if it's yeah, it's actually over yeah let me go ahead and tell you all about my day today very very early day i also got an early day tomorrow too this whole trip has been early early show times and i'm sick of it <laughs> the flight today was pretty chill although there was this little kid he was two a couple blogs ago i mentioned how the company sends an email out to parents that if your kid is two and under they do not need a mask however in our manual it states two and older have to wear a mask and it's possible because you know i've seen little kids i've seen two-year-olds and one-year-olds wear masks before so it is possible the kid was literally screaming like screaming bloody murder you would have thought we stole that baby's puppy one of the fire attendants in the back told the mom hey he has to have a mask on because he's over too again the company <laughs> the company they it's miscommunications okay so the mom was trying to get the kid to get a mask on and that baby was screaming bloody murder for like 20 minutes everybody was like well you're torturing the kid and the mom and i'm like honestly guys i understand i get it and i'm we're torturing y'all too because y'all have to hear this the whole flight but i mean i can't do anything about it like that's just I, this is my job okay i just have to make sure i do my part i ended up going get some oreos and taking them to the mom and telling her look as long as your kid is eating i can't say anything mind you we have like an hour and 50 minutes left in flight by then so <laughs> it's like how you gonna shove cookies down a baby's throat for an hour and a half more than an hour and a half like no kid is gonna sit there and just keep eating moral of the story guys train your kids either train your kids to start wearing the mask 30 minutes a day up until the flight or 30 minutes 15 minutes at first and gradually increase the, the amount of time that you have your kid practicing or do simple thing you better knock your kid out with some melatonin that way if you're knocked out they ain't gonna care if they have a mask on so mm. I, I digress though i have a fresh face i'm gonna do a face mask so these are the options i have and today i'm going to do by popular demand this vitamin c mask now this one says it is for purifying it's a dead sea mineral facial mask very much so goes like vibes all right, so it is day four, go home day. I have nine minutes to go downstairs. We have two legs today. We go from Detroit to New Orleans, New Orleans to Dallas, and yeah, I will see y'all whenever.